What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. I'm definitely having a great day because I just got a new delivery. Ta-da! <laughs> Let me show you what it is. I'm just gonna have to open it first. Can't do it with one hand, so give me a second. Right, get this out. Another package. And it's like parcel parcel. Ah, oh, scissors again. Ooh, bubble wrapped up. Time to take it out. Remember my last vlog when I was talking to you about a secret I wanted to reveal to you guys and uh, something I was looking forward to showing you lot? Well, here it is. Ta da! It's the Canon G7X Mark II. My vlogs are now going to go to some next level. You know what, I'm going to do an unboxing of this, so cue the intro so I can go straight into that unboxing. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to waste any more time with this, I just want to get open and get started on it. So here we go. I'm not going to do like any technical specifications or uh, any reviews on it or anything like that, because I just want to play with this, so I'm just going to take it out. Got some instructions. We have the power cable, some cardboard, oh here it is, and it is the camera, all wrapped up and nice, let's get rid of that, here it is, moment of truth, what, oh, almost dropped it, <laughs> there it is, look at this, boom, check that out, Oh man, I can't wait to start using this. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna do some, some vlogging today with this. What else have we got in the, in the box? Uh, let's have a look here. More cardboard. Uh, we've got a little uh, strap for your hand so it doesn't fall out, fall from your hand. Uh, we have the charger. That's really nice. I like having like a separate battery charger, so you don't have to like keep plugging into your camera all the time. But yeah, that's the charger and what's this? Oh, and the battery of course. Won't work without that. <laughs> so let's get it turned on. So here it is. Here's the camera. I put the battery in, so it's all ready to go. But before I turn it on, I just want to show you the camera itself. This is the front of it. It's got the little dial here for zooming in or changing the aperture or the ISO um, it's also got a little grip here which is a nice feature it's an upgrade from the Mark 1 so you can just hold on to it properly without it slipping out of your hands um, it's what else has it got on the front it's about it really on the top it has obviously the button to take pictures um, it has a dial here so you can change from like auto to manual or change it to different modes basically Look at the top there. Is that focused? Let's get it to focus. There you go. So that's the top of it. At the back here you have the screen of course. This is the famous G7X screen. The one that is an upgrade from the Mark 1. Because this one, the Mark 1 was able to do this where if you have the camera down low, you can look at it from high above. And obviously if you're doing a selfie or vlogging then you can see yourself on the screen there but what the Mark 1 didn't have was the ability to come outwards like like that so now if you have the camera high up above you then you can see you can still see the screen so it's such a good feature this one so it's something that definitely wasn't in Mark 1 but they've added it into the Mark 2 it's amazing at the back here you can see the dials here, so you can change from like manual focus to, uh, or just in info, or to setting the uh, the flash on. Uh, different features, basically. Over here, you could do the ring function, so you could choose what you want this this little ring uh, dial over here to do. Uh, the record button right there, which is going to be used quite a lot by me. And there's the play button, so that you can see what you just took a picture of or took a video of. And obviously, the menu change the menu settings. Uh, on the bottom, you can attach a tripod to it, standard size, so any tripod can fit into that. Has the battery cover here, uh, which I've just put in. 
Right, let's see what we've got on the side here. On the side we have the light button, which when you press it, wow, the flash comes up. So you can easily take a picture with it like that, or if you want to push it backwards when you take a picture, just to bring the light upwards, and just push it back down into place again to close it away. It's got these little handles here as well, if you want to put the, um, the wrist strap on there. So you either put it on this side, or if you want, if you're right-handed, then you can put it onto this hand, uh, onto this side. And yeah, oh, it's got the on and off button on top as well over here. And as well as that, there's also the microphone uh, slots here as well. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like two little holes there, which is where the microphones are. On the other side of the camera here, it has the HDMI port and the USB port. So as you can see in there, you can just connect it up to your computer or to your TV and you can also charge it from here as well. So that's really cool. On the bottom where the battery door is, you just push it to open it up and in here you insert your battery. You also have a slot for your memory card so it's just a normal SD card that you put in there and yeah and then you just close it again it's not like a normal camera though where you just close it and that's it clicks into place no it just pops out again so we have to you have to close it hold it and then push the slider to lock it so it's a little bit different from what i'm used to but it's not really much of a of a bother and anyway, now that i've shown you around the camera it's time to finally turn it on for the first time so let's do it so there's an on button up here Let's make sure it's focused first. There you go. What? Well, straight away, it's telling me to set the date. And look how the um, the lens just comes out as well when you press it. So I've got to set the date now. Just give me a second. All right, I've just set the date and time on there now, and the time zone. And look at that amazingness. You probably can't see the quality of it on the camera, but I'll do some tests on it in a bit and show you. Right now, I'm just focusing on everything around it. Just going crazy trying to focus on everything as I'm moving it around. But yeah, that is amazing. So now, that's how I'm going to be from now on. You're going to see this. You're going to see me holding it like that and vlogging to the camera or to you. <laughs> on my old vlogging camera, by the way, which is this one, is the Canon Legria Mini. Or Legria Mini X. This one is really good, had a nice fisheye lens to like give like a nice wide angled shot and it has a screen as well that pops up so I can vlog like this, same thing again but it just didn't have a zoom function and I found it so annoying because so many times when you want to zoom into something that's far away I'd miss a good shot because of it so that's a good thing that I've got in this one now I've finally got the zoom function so if you have a look here, I could either do it from the top over here, where it has a zoom in and zoom out um, part, or I could do it from the dial if I've set it as that, which at the moment it has, oh by the way the screen's touch screen as well, so if I touch like that I could zoom into this bit or I could zoom into that, so it's touch screen. And yes, yeah, so if I um, change the dial over here, I can, if you see here, I don't know if you can, the lens is 24 to 100 millimeter lens, so Look at that, finally I'm able to zoom in on a vlogging camera, something I've been deprived of with my old one, but yeah, still Canon just like my other one, just a much better vlogging camera. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Alright guys, I think I've unboxed it enough now, now it's time to get playing with it, so in a bit I'm just going to take this out and do some test vlogs for you. I need to put my record in here first though. Can't wait. Alright, that was my unboxing of the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, just gone back to my Legria Mini now, just so I could compare this one with the old one. So as you can see, with this one, there's a lot more space around me. Um, I can see more wider, like, I can literally see my hands right there at the end of it, and my arms stretched out. Definitely can't do it with the Legria, uh, with the G7X. So, I'm gonna compare it now with the G7X and see what difference is. This is what it's like in good lighting, by the way. I've got my lights on, my studio lights on. So, this is a good lighting test. Um, but it's just like to test the difference in quality and 
the just to show you an example of the difference in range as well of how much you can see on screen so let's go to and this is the audio from the Canon Allegri obviously as well <clears throat> so let's go to the G7X now and this is the G7X finally I am recording on the G7X Mark II so look at the difference in quality it's I'm looking at it on the screen right now <clears throat> I can see such a big difference in the quality but as you can see I'm stretching my hands out and you can't see my hands at the end of it the, the, screen, uh, the lens is a lot more uh, shorter range on it but who cares the quality is a lot better and now you can see my face better as well in HD so now test the <clears throat> I'm gonna test the low light as well now so let's see how that goes all right I'm back to my Legria Mini again and this is what it's like in low lighting I wouldn't say it's dark it's pitch well, it's definitely not pitch black in here it's just uh, a lot darker than I had to switch off the studio lights switch off the main lights as well and this is what you get from the Legria Mini X so you can still see me but I think it's still a bit dark though but anyway we're gonna compare it now I haven't, I haven't tried, tried out with the G7X yet so I'm about to try that out and I've read and seen and heard a lot of good things about the low light situations that it goes through so let's see can't wait to try out wow look at that <laughs> I'm looking at it now and it's such it's like it's like this room is just lit up it's such a big difference from the Canon Allegria can't believe it. I, I swear to you I did not turn on any lights I literally just changed from one camera to the other and it's like I've got this light is shining on my face now that is amazing wow I mean you always see the people like people talking about it on YouTube and stuff like that but now I've seen it for myself it's such a big difference oh my god I can't believe like literally it's, this is all dark around me this is <laughs> exactly the same as what it was I swear to you but wow like this is what makes the G7 it might be a bit pricey this camera but <laughs> this is what makes it worth it this is like one of the features that everyone talks about in it. The autofocus and the low light capabilities of it. I'm in awe of it. <laughs> well, that's enough of the Canon Legria Mini now. Now I'm just going to stay with this G7X. I think I've tested enough with that one now. So let's go into different lighting. Wow, that is bright. It's going to focus yet. Come on, get there, get there. Has it focused on me yet? Come on. Wow. That is not changing. I think I need to play with the. Um... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, it's just still on the screen right now. It said that I had the touch autofocus on and it just cancelled it out by itself. So let me go to the dark room again. So now, wow, look at that. It just changed straight away. See that? Look at that. I swear I haven't done anything to the light. It's still the same, it's still dark as it was before. Now I'm going to go to the bright room again. We're gonna change it. Oh, I think it still has the touch thing on there. Oh no, there you go, just did it by itself. Let me see what this is. Okay, well it took its time. Let me try it one more time. Go into a dark room. Let's see it brighten up now. There you go. Just br brightened up by itself. And now going into the light room. Sun's in here. It's taking a bit of time to. Uh, oh, there you go. I got there eventually. I think I need to play the settings a little bit. It still says that the the touch focus is still on. So I just need to find out where to switch it off from because it's asking me to touch the screen in order to get it to focus on me and to change the the lighting. So I need to see whereabouts that is that I can change the feature on that and then it should be able to focus properly. Right, before I go out real quick, I just want to show you the zoom capability of this camera. So look at the tree down there. It's now zooming in, zooming in, nice and smoothly. And it's still going. Okay, so now it's reached the maximum of its optical zoom capabilities. Now it's going to go to digital zoom. Still going. And now it's the there you go, all the way into the end. So, let's see what else I can see. Let's see that shop over there. Emscons, I still don't know what that is. 
never even been there before. Let's zoom out all the way. Let's keep going. Now optical zoom out. There we go. Look how far that is. Such amazing zoom on this on this camera. Alright, so here it is guys. My first official vlog outdoors in the Canon G7X. So how is it looking? This isn't like a nice sunny day. Sun shining on my face. I'm guessing it's a lot more better quality than the than the Legria. I'm about to go into shadow now. So let's see what it looks like when I transition into shadow. There we go. Oh, and it just brightened up again. <laughs> That's really, I really like that function of the, um, of that feature in it, that it's really good in low light situations. Or it adjusts really quickly in different lighting. So, excuse me for this, um, for today's vlog, if I'm looking up at the screen all the time, just that it's new to me, I want to see how it looks and how it's performing when I'm recording. So, yeah, today's vlog, I'll probably be looking at the screen quite a bit. But after today, I'll be looking back at you guys into the lens. <laughs> so yeah. I'm trying to see how I can get more of a width on it. So it shows more. I think it's not too bad actually. The other one shows like a lot more width, but it's a bit too much width. With this one, it's not actually too bad. But if it's up close like that, then yeah, maybe that's a bit too, too much. But if I hold it like this, it's actually okay. It's better quality and it's showing everything that I need to see in it. Oh, the sun's back on me again. Let's go to shadow. Shadow. Oh, look at that. Straight away brined up again. Into the sun. Yep, there you go. Adjust it again. Back into the shadow. There we go. I love it. <laughs> My leg wheel can't do that. If it's dark, that's it, it's dark. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> you just have to pray that you can do something in editing with it. Um, but yeah, this seems to be amazing so far. Oh, look at the birdies. Let's zoom into them. But yeah, that is what the Canon G7X Mark II is like. Look at that again. I just love it. I love the transition in different lighting. What? This is what the world looks like in HD. So welcome Samster Life into the world of HD. So yeah, that is my new camera. Prepared to see some much, much, much better quality vlogs from now on. What a stupid fly. Get out of the way, stupid fly. Just flying around my hand. Can't touch my, my my new camera. Are you crazy? But yeah, can't wait to start using this more often. I just want to say as well, actually, there's a um, this function here where you could do it, let it recognize your face. So you take pictures. It also take pictures of your face from different angles and having different facial expressions. And then it recognizes your face so that it focuses on you rather than focusing on anything on the background behind me. Um, so that's a really good feature as well, especially for vlogging, where like you're talking to the camera, you don't want to be, well, you're obviously not looking at the screen like I am right now. And then um, you don't realize that it's actually focused on something behind you rather than on your face. So that's a good feature that they've added in there. Uh, another thing is that you could also shoot in 60 frames per second at full HD, which is something that a lot of SLR cameras can't even do. So that's good as well, but I think I'm going to be sticking to the 30 frames per second just because uh, 60 frames per second looks too real. It looks too like as if you're actually in front of that person. And I don't know, I like the, the look of the 30 frames per second just because it looks more... Um, I don't know what it is, There's something about it just looks more... What's the word? I don't know. It just looks better basically. So I'm going to be sticking to that at full HD obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do any anything less than that. But yeah, just wanted to add those few more features that I found out in here. So cool. <laughs> you know how I was telling you earlier about the facial recognition thing that you can do on here, where you can just like, take a picture of yourself and then it recognizes it on here, so it's focused on your, on your face rather than something in the background. Well, just right now when I turned uh, the camera on, it just had like a box around my head and underneath it said Sammy, because you could assign that person's name to it as well. So the camera now knows who I am. 
this is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog there. Today's gonna be a vlog just purely on the camera, um, rather than doing anything else. So it's a Canon G7X Mark II day today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I need to add the wrist strap now to the camera because so, I'm gonna be holding it like this from now on. I'm not gonna be doing the tripod thing. Um, but yeah, need to play around with this camera a little bit more, check out the settings, and I'll see you in the next video. But don't forget to subscribe first. See ya.